we have our dinosaur of the day, Pyroraptor, which was a request from PaleoMike716 via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. And this one is a dromaeosaur, so, you know, very bird-like. It's fitting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dromaeosaur is likely the first birds, potentially. Yeah. It's also fitting because Pyroraptor will be in the movie Jurassic World Dominion, and that's coming out in just a few weeks. Colin Trevorrow had mentioned in an interview that he likes Pyroraptor. That's how we know? That's, yeah, it was in a few articles mentioned, and Pyroraptor's also in the games Jurassic World Alive and Jurassic World The Game. And Pyroraptor in all of these Jurassic World images, illustrations, <laughs> animations is depicted as having feathers nice yeah so pyroraptor is a dromaeosaurid like i mentioned it lived in the late cretaceous in what is now provence france in the la bouchard locality as well as in northern spain in the vittoria formation and the trump group it was a feathered raptor it had a long thin tail and it had large claws on the second toes of its feet these claws were two and a half inches or six and a half centimeters long it's estimated to be about five feet or one and a half meters long and weighs 17 to 22 pounds, eight to 10 kilograms. That's a rough estimate, though, because it's hard to say based on the fossil evidence. So that's a pretty similar to Velociraptor, maybe even a little bit smaller. Yeah. Now the type species is Pyroraptor olympius, and that genus name means fire thief. And that's because the fossils were found after a forest fire happened. The species name refers to... Mont Olympe, a mountain in Provence near where the fossils were found. A single partial skeleton was found in 1992, and then Pyroraptor was described in 2000 by Ronan Allen and Philippe Taquette. The holotype is the second toe claw of the left foot. There's other specimens that include the claw on the right foot, a right ulna, that forearm bone, two teeth, vertebrae, and digits. And those two teeth found were flattened and curved backwards and serrated. So this is why it's a rough estimate for how big Pyroraptor was. The first dromaeosaur fossils found in France were Variraptor, and that was previously thought to be Megalosaurus panoniensis. Then Alain and Tiquet said that Variraptor was a nomum dubium based on the fossils being poorly preserved and the holotype having no distinguishing features. In 2009, Buftat and Shantazit found Variraptor to be valid based on the different shapes of those lower arm bones, the ulnas. Pyroraptor may have used its claws as weapons or to help climb. In 2005, Philip Manning and others modeled a dromaeosaur hind limb to study how they use their claws, and they built a robotic limb with a hydraulic arm, and they based their model on the second digit and claw on an articulated foot of Deinonychus. They created this claw with an aluminum core and a thin composite sheath of Kevlar and carbon fiber strands. And they tested kicking in a fleshy substrate, in this case a fresh pig carcass, as well as crocodile flesh. Though the dermal armor there protected the crocodile flesh and broke the tip of their claw. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. That's how ankylosaurs survived Pyroraptor. Those, that dermal armor, those osteoderms. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> They did high and low speeds. The low speeds were at 2 meters per second. The high was 11 meters per second. And they found that it produced these small round puncture wounds. So there was no slashing or cutting. And these puncture wounds could have killed smaller animals, but they wouldn't have been too effective against larger dinosaurs. So it's possible that they used their claws as, quote, climbing crampons, where they would leap onto their prey, grip with the claws, using them as established footholds, and then inflicting enough wounds through lots of bites. Interesting. Or maybe just using them as climbing crampons on trees. That too. <laughs> now, once they're hooked on, if they were doing this form of attack, if the prey turned to attack them, they would also be turned by and with the prey, so the prey wouldn't be able to shake them. Hmm. They call that the fatal embrace, and that's similar to big cats that dig their claws in to cling to prey and then use their jaws to kill it. Some other animals that lived around the same time and place as Pyroraptor include the ornithopod, Rhabdodon, Nodosaurids, Titanosaurids, Ceratosaurians, turtles, and alligators. And in addition to Jurassic World, you can also see Pyroraptor in the TV series Dinosaur Planet, 
where Pyroraptor Pod gets stranded on an island after a tsunami and then contacts dwarf dinosaurs like Magyarosaurus and Tarascosaurus. Yeah, that was a fun episode. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.